Really soon. Really soon. Really soon, my man. You're really, really soon. Ghost of the game are making that bare knuckle debut. So this is gonna blow the socks off people. This is the Schmoke with the pro with the notorious Conor McGregor in the flesh. We just finished up the night, beat KFC Spain, and we had the concert. How do you feel about everything this evening? Very, very pleased, very happy, and very proud of my combatants. They put on one hell of a show tonight. Who impressed you the most out there? You know, Redneck Mundell showed he was a defending, reigning defending champion, champion and probably one of the best we have on the roster. This is the Schmo with the pro with David Redneck Mundell here backstage and still BKSC middleweight champion, second round TKO. How we doing? I'm doing fucking fantastic, man. I'm fucking living the dream right now. I'm in paradise. Yes, you are, man. We're here in Spain, an all-girl flagship event on the zone. You had Conor McGregor right there ringside. You got the belt, you got the hat, and you got a great jacket. That's absolutely fucking Lulee. My boy Sash hooked it up with me. But y'all heard what he said next. Mike Perry's about to be my bitch. What are you going to do to Mike Perry? I'm going to knock his ass out, too. You think he's the most worthy man to be fighting you next? Absolutely not, but he's the most famous bum. How do you think you put him out? You think it'll be the first round, second round, third round? What does it do? You know, he does, uh, he does take a little bit of uh, uh, damage, but I think uh, second round, I get him out of there as well. And what was the look that you saw in the eyes this evening of Conor McGregor, the notorious, the new boss man? He was fucking excited, baby. <laughs> Yeah? yeah? Absolutely, man. He was so happy, and then he just knows, man, this Southpaw, this Southpaw power, man, is unmatched. What's the best thing he said to you all week? He told me that I could have that fight with Perry. And there it is. The boss says it's coming to true. It's coming true. You're fighting Platinum Mike Perry next. Absolutely. I'm going to fuck his ass up. Is the King of Violence belt on the line, too, so you're going to be holding one on each shoulder if you get the victory? Listen, this is the real belt. I give a fuck about that belt, but if he wants to put it up for grabs, I'll snatch it from him, too. How are we going to be celebrating tonight here in Spain? You know, I'm just going to... I'm going to be just chilling. I'm going to go with the flow and just, just vibe out. Vibe out? Absolutely. Final message for all your fans out there worldwide. Fuck Mike Perry. And uh, the main event, oh my lord, Tony Logo, Soto, Frank Ataneglia. That was one hell of a show. This is the Schmo with the pro, the new BKC oh, lightweight oh, champion, yeah. Franco Tanaglia. How we doing, my man? Well, I never feel better, man. I think now... I might get laid better more with more girls, you know, even if I had to face fucked up. Of course, every lady's gonna want a piece of you. And you got Conor McGregor doubling the money, my man. How does it feel to get extra moolah? Man, I, I can do that. I can do this for free, you know. I love this shit, but of course, now I am not poor anymore. So that's, that's a good feeling, man. What was going through your mind when it went to the judge's scorecard? I uh, was like, fuck, we might have to go another round, you know, because it was a close fight. I think I was doing well till I get like a hit in, the, in my stomach, you know. Yeah. I was feeling in control, but uh, he connected a very good punch. The guy is hard as fuck, he had a lot of experience. He surprised me, I thought he's going to last, uh, he's gonna, I, don't, I didn't know he's going to be that strong, you know. But, uh, you know, this, this is about, it's about life, you know. I've been like, I used to fight for food, like literally. So I knew if, if you want to beat me, you need to fucking kill me, man. That's right. So I, I demonstrate that in the fire. Yeah. Sent a message, BKC Spain inaugural event on the zone, the main event and the champion inside this beautiful arena. Final message to all your fans out there worldwide. I am so fucked up now. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone, everyone that stepped in, even Oscar Willis at the Michael have done very, very well. Clean tight card. He just stopped Ben DeBain Davis in the first round, knocked him down four times. Now you're partying with Conor McGregor. How you doing? Let me tell you, Schmo, I'm feeling fucking good, baby. I want to rock and roll and roll with you, my darling. Let's go! Let's fucking have it, you cunt! Ben Davis fought as well. He was outsized. He got back up off the canvas. You know, Danny Baz and Christie also got back up off the canvas. He was fighting Redneck. Some of these sequences, you can see that they're daunting for the fighters that are in there. It's very, very intense. It's the most intense physical sport on the planet right now. He's 10 and 1. He's the BKFC heavyweight champion of the world. He's Big Mick Terrell in the flesh here at BKFC Spain ringside. How we doing? I'm very good, how's you? The Schmo can't complain. This belt was too heavy for you, so you're making the Schmo wear it. You, you look a bit stronger than me. Just a little bit? Just a little bit. Not much, but just a little. Just a little bit. He's being facetious. But talk to the Schmo for a second, man. When are you going to get back into the ring? And are you fighting Big Ben Rothwell next, defending this bad boy on the line? I want to be back in that ring as quick as possible, and I'm, I'm desperate for it to be Ben Rothwell. I just need the confirmation, and then I'm going to hire a couple of punches on Ben's face. How do you put him away? 
it's a tough one, you know, Ben's a big lad and he's very good. And um, I think it's going to be work rate. Been chopping at the bit to see you back in action since you put away Lorenzo Hunt over at Knucklemania 4 in Los Angeles. Yeah, it's, um, that was an easy fight to be honest. He was like an empty truck suit when I hoid him around. What do you make of this type of event and the new boss man, Conor McGregor, sitting ringside watching all the action? It's second to none. It's class. Great atmosphere. I love it. What's the best thing Conor McGregor said to you so far? Do you want a whiskey? It's good whiskey. Good whiskey. Conor's got very good whiskey. And what's your final message to all your fans out there, worldwide champ? Sticking at school. There it is. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. BKFC Spain. You can have your belt back, sir. Sure, thank you. This is the Schmo with the pro and still the BKFC welterweight champion, Austin No Doubt Trout in the flesh. We just finished up here. We're backstage. You got stitched up. How we feeling, my man? I'm feeling great. I'm still a champion. There ain't no better feeling than, than conquering and defeating and defending your own. That's right. And you know a thing or two about that, doing that unboxing in the light middleweight division. But what victory tastes sweeter for you, my man? The boxing or the bare knuckle boxing? Well, you know, when I, I spill my own blood and still come out victorious, ain't no better feeling than that. Uh, this bare knuckle revived my, my combat career. So anything here forward, this is the best feeling. So obviously, what was going through your mind when you were going to the judges' scorecard? Because that was an absolute war you just had. Well, you know, I, I know I put enough rounds in the bank from the early rounds, and the, the war started in the fifth and final round. So I was happy to, to have worked for it, but uh, nonetheless, I knew I had it. And what was it like fighting in a bullfighting arena here all the way in Spain, and you got Conor McGregor ringside yelling at you the entire time? I'm telling you, man, that's why that warrior spirit came out. When I walked into this ring, I felt like a gladiator. And then when I walked into, you know, the stadium, it confirmed I am a gladiator. And you got your beautiful family right here alongside. How are you going to be celebrating this great victory? <laughs> I'm taking a nap, right? We're going to sleep. <laughs> going to sleep? Um, nah, I'm, I'm going to spend some time with my babies. They came all the way out here, and uh, we gave them a show, and I didn't give them too much to worry about. There it is. Now everybody's chomping a bit to fight you. Come on. Who do you think is most deserving to fight you next? I honestly don't care who. Bring it. Let's go. You know what I mean? Whoever thinks they got it. Come prove it. This is a smell with the pro. He's a prom Tom bomber here. BKC Spain, catching all the action. How we doing? Oh, we're doing good, we're doing good. How are you doing? The Schmo can't complain. We're absorbing all the action right here. Where bullfighting usually takes place, we got bare knuckle fighting. You know what, BKFC, my bay out in a bullfighting arena. What could possibly be any better than this? Nothing at all. But talk to the Schmo for a second. Why are you the most electrifying fighter inside this sport? Listen, I'm the UK BKFC champion and tonight at Welterweight, I watched two little bums fight each other, Austin Trowlips and Rico Wanko. Not one of them guys can deal with me. I am the best, trust me, and I will beat any of them. And you know what, Austin Trout won the bout, so guess what, you'll get in next. Yeah, how are you going to put away Austin Trout? It was a decision, it was a war, but he's still the champ. You know what, he's still the champ, but guess what? He showed a lot of flaws, he showed a lot of vulnerabilities, and guess what? I capitalized on them, because Rico Franco's not a boxer. See me, I'm a boxer by pedigree, and trust me, little man, you are next, you old little bitch. And Conor McGregor, he is sure that you're next? Trust me, Conor McGregor and Dave Feldman know that I'm next. I'm coming for you, Austin Trout. Austin Trout lips, you little fanny, you little fanny pads, you little pussy. You are getting it. How do you put him away? I'm putting him away. After watching that one, round first, round one, knockout. He's getting stopped. Don't stop him and knock him out. Trust me, he's done. There it is. Final message for all your fans out there worldwide. All the fans, listen, I've been thinking about it and I've still got a long time in this career. Keep supporting me. Keep, trust me, I am the biggest name in Big KFC in the UK and soon to be the world. Connor, the Brumtown Bomber, coming to a screen near you. He's not here to take part, he's here to take Schmover. Uh, the main event was good, but it could have been better if I was in it. I would have knocked both the motherfuckers out. That's what we like to hear. How soon are we going to see you challenging for that belt? Next fight. Next fight. The champ is mine. That's my belt. We putting belt to ass, man. Belt to ass. That's what Conor McGregor just said to you? You're next in line or what? Man, Conor knows I'm next in line. That's my brother. If he says it, it's going. That's right. That's right. And what's your final message to everybody out there worldwide about you and about you coming for a Hey, I'm the next one up. 
Connor vouched for me, Shaq vouched for me, and he vouched for me. We here, baby. And I'm very, very proud of my combatants. You know, it was a great show for us. Very good. It was an excellent show. I would almost, you know, it was our inaugural event on that zone. I would almost akin it to the Ultimate Fighter 1 the finale. You know, it had that vibe off of it where something big was bubbling. And, you know, we finished it with our Greenback Record Superstars, West Coast Hip Hop Legend Exhibit, uh, UK Grime founder, father of the Grime scene, Dizzy Rascal, and Florida Zone. Z Pack Z Gang Zodak Black. This is a schmo with the pro, with the global superstar <laughs> Kodak Black. Shout out Greenback Records yes, here in Spain. We yeah. just finished up the BKFC event. How we doing? We doing great. How you doing? Hey, the schmo can't complain, man. What's the favorite part of performing in front of a live audience, especially in a coliseum where they do bullfighting? The hospitality. The hospitality in Spain. That's it. You gotta get that close to me. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that, man. Who's on your Mount Rushmore for greatest performers all time? You can include yourself. Uh, performers? Yeah. Conor McGregor, me, Nassim, Muhammad Ali, uh, motherfucking Michael Jackson, yeah, Elvis. Wow, there it is, my man. Hey, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, man. How do you think that one ends? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? It's okay. We're going to see a great event. Yeah. And what's the final message you got to all your fans out there worldwide? Stay up. The easiest thing to do is give up. So just, uh, you know, keep your head up, your chin high. And you know, every day ain't gonna be peaches and cream out here. Cause if, if every day were peaches and cream, you wouldn't know what to do in life, get you living. What a show we had tonight, boys. Excellent show. Final message for all the Conor McGregor fans out there worldwide. Stay tuned for what's next, baby. We're coming with something big, Riyadh season, yeah? Tell Sheik Turkey, Sheik Turkey, we, had, we were competing against each other as mutual friends on the same night, on the same bad channel, and we took the lead, we took the win. We got more viewers than, than the other matches and whatnot. But myself and Sheik Turkey have some mega announcements coming, and boy, oh boy, have I stacked a card of superstars for you all in Riyadh season and it's going to be announced really soon really soon really soon my man you're really really soon goats of the game are making that bare knuckle debut so this is going to blow the socks off people against Mayweather nah I'm Mayweather I'm talking mix some of these some of these match, matches I have made are going to blow your fucking mind bro. okay bare knuckle appreciate that hey, did you really fire Mike Perry though Mike is Mike is fired but we're in negotiation you know if he, he, Redrick Mundell called him out he's been afraid of Mundell we had to give him a little cherry made, cherry pick made uh, title, you know, in the King of Violence or whatever you call it. But he was never a world champion, and he's afraid of Mike, uh, Mike Mundell, the redneck Mundell. He's called him out now. Let's see what what, what Perry responds, and uh, let's see. You know, he, he can come back. We can talk. We can go back to the table. But I have a great matchup for for Perry also. Discussions have to be had, and that's for Riyadh season. But if it doesn't happen, no problem, we'll move on. We've got some big names, big announcements coming that you will not expect. And it's gonna blow the socks off the arena, bro. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. Mo and the pro. There it is. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Signing out from BKFC Spain. Boom. We're out. Let's go. FC, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's fucking go, man! Unreal! Unreal. There it is! Four for four! How would you describe this event? I would describe it. Every round is the fifth round. They're just going for it, man. There it is. Leave nothing left behind. Unreal! Unreal! They're trying to take the heads off in this place. It's crazy! Absolutely unbelievable! They're going bonkers. They're supposed to love every second of it. I'm the Zoe, Glow, Shmo, all that good shit. <laughs> Appreciate that, my man. It's great to see you.